One of the surest signs that summer has arrived is the reappearance of bees in our gardens, at our picnic tables, and occasionally in a swarm. So now we hear from the man who was called on to save New Yorkers from swarming bees for more than 20 years. Anthony Planakis is a fourth-generation beekeeper and a retired New York City police detective. He served as the department's unofficial beekeeper starting in 1995, earning him the nickname Tony Bees. When you're going through the academy, they put out this little card, and they ask you on this, hey, whatever you're interested in, just put it down over there. Beekeeping, of course, I put that down. And the very first job, the sergeant comes right up to me, and I just look up, and I go, hey, Sarge. And he goes, bees? And I go, yeah, where? Harlem. And I go, cool. That was it. That was the first job I handled. Whenever I'm working a swarm, I hear nothing around me. I mean, you can have a jackhammer running down below. I wouldn't even hear it. I'm in the perfect world now. Actually, that's the only time I feel safe. I'm never scared, never afraid. So uh, I think it's in my blood. My father was taught the art of beekeeping by my grandfather, but growing up, I wanted nothing to do with them. Then 1977, the springtime, my father looked at me and he goes, grab that chair, sit in front of the hive. And I looked at him and I go, you're crazy. I'm not sitting in front over there. And he goes, just sit there. I want you to see what's going to happen. The sun was just coming up over the hill. Dawn was just breaking. Lo and behold, as soon as that sun hit that hive, they started flying out. Let me tell you, that was the alarm clock going off. And uh, it was gorgeous. It was beautiful. And he goes, they know what to do. They have to work. And that's their job, to work until they die. And, uh, I mean, that's what I do. I don't go on vacations. I see it as a waste of time (laughs) because I'd rather work with them. And I, I look at them as my children which I don't have any children, but I look at them as I took it upon myself to say, hey, you you know, I'm adopting, you know, uh, 27,000 kids right here, so I better be looking out for them. So I've learned from the bees patience, respect, you know, and um, I guess work till you die. Mm 